Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna do our daily technical analysis on the Bitcoin price. At the end we're also gonna have a look on the monthly candle because in a couple of days we're closing this month and let's see how this month was. And also we're gonna go through quickly some uh, altcoins. We're also gonna have a look, especially here on Ethereum and Chainlink, what's going on here because currently uh, some of the altcoins are not performing so well, even though Bitcoin is looking like that it wants to go up again and retest here this 9,200 and possibly even go higher. But uh, let's start quickly here now in the lower time frames here on the Bitcoin price because as you can see after yesterday's breakout here to the upside we created another little falling wedge here. It's breaking out currently to the upside here. We also have the RSI now starting to trade again above the 50 level and also stochastic is now coming from oversold back here shifted to the upside towards uh, neutral condition so here we have a lot of room to the upside and i'm expecting here to have a retest of this 9200 dollar that is also the main resistance of this bigger falling wedge that we are in currently i'm not very convinced right now that we could also break this 9200 dollar but it is possible and that's why we have to go to the bigger time frames but here in the one hour it looks like that we are pushing here now towards 9200 dollar also if you go over to the cme chart you can see that we have now this little gap opened up here at 9220 dollar so it is very likely that we will go up there to close this little gap that we have created currently you can see it also in the four hour and also in the daily time frame it's a very tiny one but most likely the price is coming up here to at least close this gap and then we have to see if we immediately are getting rejected already at those price levels or we potentially could go higher towards $9,500. Also if we have a look on the Bollinger Band in the one hour you can see that we are pushing through the middle area currently so the target could appear at $9,160. If we are reaching that high I think also $9,200 most likely we are going to reach and also close the gap. MACD is flat currently but also here we could have a bullish cross if we continue to push here. So here in the one hour it looks like that we are shifted now towards $9,200. And also if you look here in the four hour time frame, currently we're fighting with the 20 moving average in the four hour. Let's see if we can have a close above this moving average. Then we could be here in a little trend reversal, at least here for the lower time frames, and we could be heading towards $9,500. So towards here, the top of this purple line here. Also RSI is right at the 50, stochastic is overbought. So let's see if here we are getting rejected now or if we are able to break through and test again this 9,200 and also break it. I think it's almost guaranteed that we will go up here to test this 9,200. The question is only are we able also to break it or not because once this little new CME gap is filled it is possible that we also retracing back down here towards one of the supports that we have down here towards 9000 and lower and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour here also you can see that we're pushing through the middle line so currently we're starting to trade again in the upper area and here also the target would be at around 9240 which I think is very likely and easy to reach in case that we can close this four hour candle above $9,100. MACD is also shifted to the upside so currently also here in the four hour it looks again more bullish than bearish and if we go over to the daily time frame you can see that currently the 20 daily is at 9300 30 this is where i think we could top out in case that we also could break nine thousand two hundred dollar and here we have to see then if we can also break the 20 daily moving average or are we just gonna see a wick here to the upside towards the 20 daily getting rejected and then start again to trade here towards nine thousand two hundred dollar because here the rsi is now trading below the 50 so in theory now we are trading on the bearish side so the 20 daily should be a very heavy uh, resistance moving average. So 9,330 could be a possible top out in case of a breakout to the upside. If we really can start to trade above the 20 or even better above the 50 daily moving average or at least bring the price higher than that, then the target could be towards here this 9,500 to 9,600 
dollar only if you're also able to break here this resistance area that we have here towards nine thousand five hundred dollar and start to build up a support above of it then i think we could be in here for a possible retest of ten thousand dollar but as long as we're trading below nine thousand five hundred dollar i still think we are definitely shifted to the downside and we should consider to sell the runs to the upside so sell every pump and or maybe even short it and then start to look for longs once we're going to reach our bearish targets which are way below of us but you can see also here that the 200 daily moving average is at 8330 so this would be the first support area where i'm expecting to have a little bounce in case it would really break down here you see that the rsi is just below the 50 so here we have a lot of room left to the downside so we could easily go down here now to test the 200 daily stochastic is oversold so in theory we could see a bounce here again that's why even though i think we are shifted to the downside i'm expecting currently a little bounce here to the upside to retest one of the uh, new resistance that we have and also here in the bollinger band you can see that we're still trading here in the lower area so even if we pump here towards 9280 and 9370 uh, we still could get rejected in this area and we would still remain here in this lower part of the bollinger band and here the bottom currently is at 8960 macd is also shifted to the downside only if we are able to close a daily candle above 9400 dollar we will then start to trade again in the upper area of the bollinger band and therefore the target would be also up here towards 9800 dollar which i think is very likely to be reached but only if we really can take the price as soon as possible back above 9500 and also start to close daily candles above 9500 dollar and now let's go over to the weekly time frame because here it is still looking very bullish even though last week we closed with a red candle but we're still trading above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average rsi still above the 50 stochastic is overbought but you can see that again now here we are now shifted to the downside so let's see if we can cool off here the stochastic down to oversold and remain above the 20 weekly moving average this in my opinion would be the perfect setup to start to scale in long positions and buy back in into bitcoin if we only remain above this 20 weekly moving average and we can cool off here the stochastic and also the rsi to the 50 level if we are starting to trade below the 50 level in the rsi and also lose here the 20 weekly moving average then i think we are on the way towards our bearish targets which are first here at around 7200 dollar if we lose this 8k area and then 6400 dollar the 0.618 fib line and if we have a look also on the bollinger band here we are trading now currently between the first middle line here of 9220 and here the next one is at 8230 so you see that currently it is very likely that we could easily fall towards a 200 daily moving average which is also at 8200 40 dollar macd is coming down here so it is possible that we're gonna have here a bearish cross in case that we are starting to trade sideways here and not are able again to start to build up a support in the upper area of the bollinger band and now let's go back to the bitstamp chart and open up the monthly time frame because here also in the bigger picture like here in the monthly we are still bullish we are trading above the 20 moving average in the monthly the 50 is down here towards six thousand dollar but as long as we can stay here and close monthly candles above the 20 moving average in the monthly time frame so here above seven thousand eight hundred dollar we still remain on our way to the upside and potentially very soon break here the main resistance of around ten thousand dollar so i think even though we could see a major dump here towards this moving average here so towards 8k and lower i think as long as we are staying above the 20 monthly moving average so as long as we're closing monthly candles above this moving average everything is still okay and we should not see a sell-off similar like we had here in 2018 also here you can see that the rsi is right at the 50 level stochastic is in neutral condition but a bit more to the oversold area so if we are able here to bounce from this moving average here in the monthly we will have a lot of room left here to the upside so you see that only here based on the rsi in the monthly we have a lot of room left to the upside so if we are starting to break here the big resistance that we have here 10k 
the momentum to the upside could be quite huge because here the RSI is right at the 50 and if we bounce from this level we could see a very long bull run which could take months similar like we had here starting from 2015 up to 2017 it took two years we were two years in an uptrend here till we reached the all-time high year of 20,000. And something similar I'm expecting also here because in the bigger time frames, although like here in the monthly, everything is still looking great. And now we can go back to the daily time frame and also have a look quickly through the altcoins because today they are slightly in minus. So I think maybe also on Bitcoin we could see something similar, even though I think that we could easily go up to close that gap at $9,200. I most likely gonna open up also later a little uh, risky over leveraged uh, long position just to ride it up towards 9,200. Let's see if that is working. I will do it over on BTR this time because I want to use my tether and that trade I will do it later over on Twitch. So if you have Twitch, make sure also to join my channel over on Twitch. You find the link to the Twitch channel down below here in the video description. So now let's start here with the first altcoin. Let's start with Ethereum here in the daily time frame because we had this potential descending triangle forming here after we broke out from our main support. We also broke out here to the downside and currently we're trading right at the 50 daily moving average. The RSI is also now starting to trade below the 50. We have a very similar situation like on Bitcoin. So most likely now that also the 20 daily moving average here at $230 could be acting as a resistance. So if today or tomorrow we're going up here to retest the 20 daily moving average on Bitcoin, I think most likely also on Ethereum, we're gonna see something similar and we could also top out here at $230. And the 200 daily moving average is currently here at $188 on Ethereum. This is also my price target to buy some more Ethereum in case of a bigger dump here we also have to see where the rsi will line up if we drop that low but these are my targets here to start to buy a little bit more ethereum down here at these price levels potentially even down towards 150 dollars but this is where i would start to scale in back a bit in ethereum if we have a look on litecoin also litecoin now is trading below the 50 in the rsi uh, below the 20 and 50 daily moving average. You can see that uh, Litecoin didn't have a very nice performance uh, here after uh, the crash of uh, March. Also, we are still trading below the 200 daily moving average. Currently, um, I just don't uh, see too many bullish signs here on Litecoin, but of course, uh, as soon as here we could have a big pump and also start to trade above the 200 daily moving average, so above $50, I think also on Litecoin, we will see a nice performance here to the upside. But uh, currently, uh, at the time of recording, it doesn't look so nice. And also the targets here is very hard to say because um, we would need to do a Fibonacci retracement from the uh, bottom that we had at $25 uh, to the top here that we currently had at $50. And this would give us a target of approximately uh, 33 to $34 a dollar here. Um, in case of a bigger uh, dump here. And I think if you want to buy Litecoin, watch out for this $30, $33 uh, level. And uh, XRP is still in this potential falling wedge. It could break out at any time to the upside. Then watch out here for the 200 daily moving average at uh, 20 cents. Um, but even though we could break out here to the upside, I'm not still very convinced that the uh, XRP is going to do like a great performance or anything like that. It's still floating around here in this lower region. Uh, let's see if we are able to recover here a bit on XRP. I'm also holding a bit XRP, so I think maybe on the next bull run, we're also going to see a nice performance here. But at least here in the very short term, it doesn't look like that XRP is like going to moon or anything uh, like that. And now Chainlink. Chainlink is still performing great, even though the others are still quite significantly falling down. But Chainlink is still maintaining here the 20 daily moving average is way above the 200 daily moving average here, $3.25. This is also where I'm planning to buy some Chainlink. I still don't own Chainlink, but this is a coin that I definitely want to have in my portfolio for the next bull run. And that's why I'm hoping that we could see a potential bigger correction down here even better towards here the three dollar area to buy some chain link and then ride it up on the next uh, bull run because chain link uh, so far is performing really great and uh, also you can see that the rsi is still above the 50 even though uh, on bitcoin and other altcoins it looks uh, way uh, worse 
And uh, the last coin we, that we can have a look here is also Monero. Monero is similar like the other coins trapped here between the 200 daily and 20 daily moving average. So also Monero here is not doing really great. So all in all in the altcoins so far, a chain link is the best performer, I think. And I definitely gonna have a look also on this uh, altcoin uh, for the future. And uh, remember that if you want to buy also some uh, altcoins or you have some tether that you want to park uh, somewhere where you can get some interest, then Binance is the place for you because on a Binance you cannot only buy every altcoin you want or almost every altcoin you want, but you have also here the savings program where you have flexible savings and also locked savings. So here you can gain some money just parking here, for example, your tether for a week or two weeks and uh, you can uh, get this interest while you're waiting to buy back into your altcoin or back into bitcoin and if you need a binance account you also find the link down below here in the video description you support the channel if you use my link so go ahead and register to binance i very recommend you this exchange i'm using it to buy altcoins and also to park my tether as long as i'm not buying back in into bitcoin and also if you want to trade with leverage you find the link for bybit where you can get 90 dollars sign up bonus with my link also femex i recommend you if you want to trade gold here you can get 72 dollars sign up bonus so register with my link down below here and also bityard where you can trade with high leverage and with tether i recommend you to use a bityard if you want to use your tether to trade because on bityard you can trade all these coins that you see here on the list only with tether you don't have to own the coins also up to 100x and they also give you a lot of uh, bonuses based on your trading volume all right guys with that said i'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content please give a like and subscribe to the channel we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers and please also join our free discord trading chat bless you it's completely for free and everyone is welcome so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one Bye.